Strange things are happening. The ground is shifting and cracking in America. Eyewitnesses from different states are sending in footage of the ground breaking apart like we've never seen before. Here's your video of cracks that form on my property over the last two days. I live in Fish Haven, Idaho. And as you can see, I have my motor home right here. It runs in front of my motor home. I don't know if it's because of the heaviness of the motor home. Here's my front deck of my cabin. And now here's a second one. Now well, that's new, it's like it's going this way. Oh, gosh, here's another one. This is the front part that goes in between my two driveways. But then that's like probably a three foot drop. I'm just afraid this whole section is about ready to drop. Now, let me show you something that's very interesting and strange about this location. When we go to USGS right now, guess what's happening? There is no data available. Why are they not releasing any data about this location? So all these locations are connected to the continental hotspots of Yellowstone. Wow. So that means we really do have to watch all this together to stay aware of what's going on because this next person in Stanley, Idaho gives us more about these current ships and you need to see the movement that's happening here. Let's check this out. This is next to Yellowstone Volcanic Fields. And we're stepping into the danger zone. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, okay. That's probably not a place to step, but I stepped on it anyway and got scared. So, yeah, I think uh, somebody mentioned I should put some engineer flagging or send such down so I can actually track the progress of uh, movement, to which I say that's a very good idea. And I will also say I did that when that first happened, and that's... That's the remnants of it. <laughs> Let's just say it uh, it ended up being considerably more movement than I suspected it was going to be. But I was trying to be scientific about it for a little while. All these areas that we're showing, Kansas, Idaho, and Wyoming as well. This is all sinking in here. They're all in this earth scope map under the blue zones where this is crustal dripping happening. By crustal dripping, we mean that rock dropping under the mantle. This is why you need to hit subscribe now. We're investigating this. Secondly, you need to drop what's happening in your area if you're in any of these blue zones so we all have information to move further. Holy fuck, dude. Holy <laughs> So I just was just going to see deer in sinkholes now. This was an eyewitness who's seen this deer down at his job site in the hole. But let's just jump back into even the stranger part. Even if we go towards Florida, people have been reporting strange movement happening and they don't know what it is. If you're in the Orlando area and you're up right now, did you feel shaking? Because me and Jamari are like freaking out two rounds already of like shaking. And I know what thunder feels like, but it's literally like we're on the third floor and we felt the shaking. Um, is there something happening that we don't know about? Hmm, that's interesting because Orlando, Florida just sits a little bit in that blue zone where the crust is dripping at. So we always look up, but it could be down. And then I've just seen recently in another part of Florida where a woman said a sinkhole just opened on her property. Major thunderstorm coming in. I am going to do a time lapse because it's going to fill up as soon as the rain starts coming. Here we are next morning after the rainfall. I checked on it last night. The hole was completely full of water. This is now 
it is empty. Now let's go into the shift that's happening at Yellowstone. The ground at Yellowstone is shifting apart. And lately, scientists went there to map the geofields. Could this also be the reason we're starting to see ground movements shift across America? And this right here shows the motion that is happening. Most people think volcanic eruptions at Yellowstone, they think of the big, huge explosions, right? Like the one that formed the caldera about 631,000 years ago. But that's not the most common form of eruption in Yellowstone. That belongs to lava flows. And we're not talking about the lava flows you might see in Hawaii, the thin, runny flows. We're talking about really, really thick, viscous flows of rhyolite lava. And that doesn't form those thin flows, it forms mountains. Like what we have, most recent lava flow occurred about 70,000 years ago. But that's also the most likely form of any future activity at Yellowstone. It's not something we're worried about in the near term because the Yellowstone magma chamber is mostly solid. We know this from seismic imaging. But any future eruptive activity is probably going to be a lava flow, forming these massive walls of rock that would move across the landscape. We did see one very small eruption of Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin. Yeah, but how would that really play out? And with the Navy saying the military are doing drills for no notice disasters that could be natural disasters. And I received the email from somebody that's living in St. Louis that's next to the New Madrid fault. Eyes on New Madrid. They're saying that shaking is happening. They're not being reported tremors. And there's a lot of pressure in the air. They're feeling a little queasy. And not too long ago, we had the military go there specifically with this plan for the New Madrid fault to its state and federal partners to intensify preparations for a high magnitude earthquake from the New Madrid seismic zone. Chuck Leak, L-E-A-K-E, and I'm a task force leader from Missouri Task Force One. This is a joint exercise about the New Madrid seismic zone, one of the most dangerous seismic zones in the world, but the reality of it is it's sitting there waiting to, to erupt. And when that earthquake does happen, um, we will see and we will need to be prepared. Now, this is just one site. And like I said, we've got Utah, Colorado, Missouri, Missouri Guard, Missouri, uh, uh, Missouri Urban Search and Rescue Task Force. We've got so many different units here. And I know that of other three other sites where things are going on as well. There's a lot of people currently working to take care of this exercise and treating it as though it's the real thing. Because God forbid when it happens, and it's going to. So he just strangely comes out and said, and it's going to happen. That's Missouri Task Force leaders saying that. So I just think that preparations definitely probably took a small shift as things start to change. And I want you to look at something so you always have it in your head and you can screenshot it. The seismic zone, danger zone. Let's look at it. These are all the areas when the damage happened in 1895, magnitude six hit, and you've seen all the way from California that they were affected too as well. So all along Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Iowa, Illinois, and Kansas. Now let's go to Idaho to look at a huge analyzation along the volcanic fields of Yellowstone from Aaron Belt, who lives in Rigby, Idaho, Eastern Snake Plain, this is something happening on his property here that we want to let you see here. Do you guys remember all those bubbles that we're having out in the field? So that will just sit and bubble for hours. And there's lots of them over there. We're going to go try to light one. I've literally been waiting all day to try to get this shot. I tried lighting the bubbles on fire earlier, but it was too bright outside. We just got some cloud cover. It's been kind of stormy. So we're gonna see what these bubbles have, if anything. <laughs> That's not the torch. So I could hear that foof, foof. So this is very right now uh, alarming and we're gonna we're just getting awareness out about this, but here's the rift zone right here where he's at. 
The rift zone is where the volcanic area and the fissures can come up. And in the magma, you seen unrest has start to seep across the Pacific ring of fire. And there is a power plant called Diablo plant is a major concern. So data shows that this fault may be more active than they originally thought is off the West Coast in California. I'm going to show you exactly where this is at. Here's the fault. San Luis Bay fault is off in the water. Now they're worried about this because thrust faults produce tsunamis because of the upward movement of the seafloor that's happening off of the coast in California. This is a big scenario right now that they're looking at. And this could be the, if it happens, the scenario where it's a Fukushima of the West Coast. But here's the reality. These cracks and shift in Yellowstone is only one piece to the puzzle. The military doing drills because they admit things are intensifying. If these patterns keep spreading, it won't just be Yellowstone. It could be a lot of portions of the United States, which we're already slowly starting to see. So if you want to stay ahead of what's coming, hit subscribe now. We'll bring you the next reports of eyewitness accounts. We'll be investigating more of the government movements, everything that's happening on the ground that you need to know that you are not seeing anywhere else. And to really know what's coming, it ties into the picture. I'm not begging you to watch it. I'm simply saying that we need it for survival. And that's why you should watch it. Don't let them hide it.